I'm going to try and teach you how to make a spinner. So this was an A4 piece of paper. I cut a little bit off so it's only so it's a bit shorter. Then you break it in half, cut it in half. Then you fold these long ways. So make this side match this side. Then this has to go equal to that or even with that. So this side matches this side. If you match it perfectly, it'll come to a point. If you go over, it won't. So I'm matching it perfectly all the way along. And squeeze it down then you can fold this up that way on that line open that out so because I started from this side and fold it over this time I start from this side and fold it over make it match so it comes to a point and then fold this in so in the end you're left with that and I can you can see I can adjust it a little bit if you open it out and leave it there your next piece has to be exactly the same so I fold in half Now I have to go, this has to go that way again. I can't go the opposite, I have to go exactly the same way. And then this side has to come down. And you can see I can kind of move it a bit to make it match before I squish it down. And then fold it in. Once you've got that, you put one piece on top of the other, across the middle. And then I'm going to start with something down the bottom, not the top, not this, but some one of these, and fold it across. And then the next one, going clockwise, fold it across. And then the next one. And then this last piece. It also has to go across, but I also have to tuck it under there. So I'm just going to just curl it around a bit so I can get it in. And then I'll push it under. And so that's my final design. Now, it works best if I fold on this side and open it out. And fold this line and open it out and that way then it's kind of a little bit not even and you just put one finger there and one finger there and turn it um, I made some earlier and I tried drawing some patterns on them uh, this one Oops. Or you can even use two different colours.